Welcome listeners. My name is uh, Joseph Kipkoech, chemistry teacher. I'm going to take you through a topic of nitrogen and its compounds. Subtopic is Oswald process, which is industrial manufacture of nitric fire acid. Now, for a learner to easily understand how this process occurs, it's always important to understand the raw materials required, conditions required, and then parts of the process. And then you know how to explain how the reaction takes place in each of those parts mentioned. Now, I want to look at now uh, step number one, look at the raw materials required to manufacture nitric fiber acids. The first raw material is ammonia, which is all obtained from other process, air, and then water. Now, the conditions required for the reaction to occur is a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius, pressure of 9 atmosphere, catalyst used is platinum rhodium. Part of the process is purifier, compressor, heat exchanger, reaction chamber, dilution chamber. Understanding the parts of the process, the next one to look at is how the reactions occur in the, in the Oswald process. Now, the raw material is ammonia and air are pumped into the purifier. The role of the purifier is to remove impurities, e.g. dust particles and carbon-4 oxide. The reason for removing the impurities is to prevent poisoning of catalysts. Then, after the mixture has been purified, they are pumped into the compressor. Now, because we said earlier on, the pressure required is 9 atmosphere, so the compressor will reduce the volume of the ammonia and air, hence increasing the pressure to about 9 atmosphere. After the compressor, the reactants are taken to heat exchanger, whereby they are preheated so as to attain suitable reaction temperature. Now, after that, the mixture is again pumped into the catalytic chamber whereby they are further heated to about a temperature of 900 degrees Celsius and passed over heated platinum rhodium, whereby ammonia is oxidized to nitrogen 2 oxide and water as the reaction below. Ammonia gas plus oxygen gas gives you nitrogen 2 oxide gas plus water. Now the balance equation would therefore oh. you put here four then you balance nitrogen put here four then we balance hydrogen put here six then the total number of uh, oxygen is 10, so we place here 5. Now, after the formation of nitrogen 2 oxides, nitrogen 2 oxide is pumped back into the heat exchanger for cooling. Now, after nitrogen 2 oxide has been cooled, it is pumped into the reaction chamber, whereby the temperature is lowered to about 45 degrees Celsius, so that it is easily oxidized, to nitrogen 2 4 oxide as follows nitrogen 2 oxide plus oxygen gives you nitrogen 4 oxide to balance the equation place here 2 that makes all the oxygen to be to be 4 so it means i place here 2 to balance the equation now the nitrogen 2 oxide forms Nitrogen four oxide, the nitrogen four oxide formed is pumped to the dilution tower where it is diluted in water and the reaction occurs as follows. The first reaction is the reaction occurs as follows. Nitrogen four oxide plus water forms nitric five acid and nitric three acid. Now the nitric three acid is further oxidized is further oxidized to form nitric five acids. The nitric five acid obtained from the lithium tower is about 65% pure. 
That means contain 35% water. Now, to increase concentration of this acid, it's done by careful distillation using concentrated sulfuric acid learners. That is the end of the lesson. Thank you. Subscribe, share, and like.